Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today is going to be a shocking one. Okay, it was a really bad pun. But today we're going to be jumping on the shocks. Uh, last week we said we were going to put them in, just kind of ran out of time. So this week we're going to put in our new shocks front and rear. We are missing a driver's side rear shock, so we may have the hardware. We may have to hit the hardware store for that. But I want to measure what the height is now from the ground to the wheel well on the corners to see where it's at and then we'll put on our new shocks to see if it makes any difference. Our current ones are really worn out. You can tell they're all super extended, things like that. Not good. So we're gonna replace them. But first things first, let's measure them and see where we're at now. So that way when we finish, we can see where we're at after. So our first one's gonna be our driver's side front from the ground to the wheel well. We're looking at about 29 right on the dot. I'm not sure what the factory ride height is, but we're gonna stick with that 29. Let's go to the back here. And this one is a little lower, sitting at 24 and a half, we're gonna say. So that's our baseline right there. I'm not surprised that it's higher in the front than it is in the back, but remember we are missing a shock here. Um, so let's go to the one side that does have the shock. And this one is right up the center. Yeah, about 24 and three quarters, 24 and a half, right around that area. So the shock isn't really making a whole lot of difference, but the good news is we have a baseline. So first things first, I think I want to jump in the front. We're going to jack up the front up, get off those old shocks. I think there's only two bolts that hold it in, one on the top, one on the bottom, and put in our new ones. These are just, you know, a, a rock auto special. I didn't go all out with crazy uh, top of the line suspension uh, shocks, you know, but one day we can do that later, but we don't have to do that now. I just want to have them on there. That way when we go first, dr first drive, uh, it's not going to be super bumpy and, you know, at least they're new. So as we're jacking this thing up, getting it in place to remove these shocks, I want to put a plug in for the merch. Make sure you guys check that out. We do have drink sleeves and t-shirts still available. The drink sleeves are only five bucks. It's a really good way, really easy way to support the channel. All the proceeds from that go to help fund this puppy here. I'll make sure to uh, put a link down below and you can also send me an email at garagetimetv at gmail.com and we can get you those sent out for you. Shirts are only 15, getting down to the end on those. So make sure you guys get yourself one. So this is our driver's side first. You can see the shock is, I mean, old. So we've got a 19 on the top and on the bottom here, another one. So we've got our wrist-saving ratchet here. We're gonna crack that loose and get these out. All right, that was fun. So we've got the top bolt, just a fun fact for you. Um, there's a nut on the back, so you're gonna have to use a wrench to hold it. And my wrist-saver did the work on the bottom. All we had was the retainer and a nut and there's a post on the bottom that it holds on to. So we'll be able to reuse this hardware um, and hopefully the sleeve on the inside stays and doesn't fight us. So we get this out, it's just gonna be a plug and play uh, replacement piece here. Should be pretty straightforward. So I'm really glad we're replacing these because uh, yeah, it's definitely seen some better days. And it looks like they're Midas, really old Midas logo. How's that? I think that's what it says. So I wonder if a previous owner went to a Midas shop and they replaced the shocks for him, but there's some old silver sticker on there. I don't know, maybe we'll uncover it at the end of the episode and see what mysteries it holds. But we're just gonna do the same thing on the passenger side. So. We're gonna unbox the other shock, get that other one off and replace it, and then we'll move to the back. Well, this is our other one, and it definitely looks old, but you can see on there a little bit made in USA, so these are definitely a replacement aftermarket one and Midas with a little crown on top of the eye, kind of Greek lettering. I'm sure we can date that logo to a certain year, but this silver sticker is um, 
way faded and there's no wording left on it. So we're not gonna get any luck as a year on that, but maybe we'll do a little research on that. If you happen to know what year this logo is from or a year range or anything like that, drop it down in the comments down there. I'd be curious to see when these were replaced because made in USA parts on a German car is definitely not original. So uh, if you know, just, you know, drop it down below. I'd love to know when this came from or around what year this is, but uh, these are definitely shot. As soon as I took out that top bolt, it didn't even move. And our other ones we have to push down to engage. So that's a good sign, but these definitely need to be replaced and they are just oh, locked up solid. <clears throat> yeah, I can barely get those things to move. So it's really good at replacing these. Next thing is jump to the back. All right, so on our rear here, this is our one that's still attached. We don't have the other side, but it's the same setup, one bolt on the top and one on the bottom down here. But the downside is our other side is missing one completely and the bolt is missing on the top and the bottom. So when we go to remove this, I'm pretty sure it's the same bolt on the top and bottom. But we're gonna take one of these out, see if we've got it in our stash in the drawer somewhere. But if we don't have one, we're gonna have to make a quick stop to the parts store to pick up those bolts so we could do the other side um, and we don't have well I may have some of these actually I think I do have some of these curved shock absorber washers I think I got them in a jar somewhere but we're gonna get these taken off and then we'll see if we have those hardware well our other one is out and definitely another Midas yellow one and uh, ugh, yeah not good that's definitely uh, leaked out all over the place and is Garbo. But this one's label is a little bit better. It does say Midas on the logo and something A-U-R. Dinosaur? I don't know. S-A-U-R-N? I don't know. I don't really want to know what this brand is. I can't read a thing. Oh, here we go. Something Jag... Jaguar... Hard... Oh, safeguard maybe? Yeah, safeguard is what it said. Well, that's not what I thought it was originally. How do I go from a safeguard to dinosaur? Anywho, yeah, definitely needs to be replaced. <coughs> now time to start looking in our stash for hardware because our bottom one is shorter than our top one, which would make sense. Uh, you don't want it sticking too far out because this has a bolt on the back. And you don't want it rubbing on the back of the tire um, by any means. So let me search my stash. I know I've got these shock absorber cupped washers, but uh, I need to find one of each of those. So cross your fingers and wish me luck. All right, some good news is we were able to go through a box that we had on the shelf over here. Um, that was only after we had gone to the store, three of them to be specific, and wasted our time looking for hardware that they don't have. Big surprise that American stores don't have hardly any selection in metric which is odd because most American cars use metric now, not really standard, but anyway. Found a bunch of bolts that were very similar, and luckily we were able to find a set that were a perfect fit for this, so it's a good match. We're gonna crawl underneath here really quick, get you guys a good look. So those new shocks are installed, both on there nice and tight. Last thing to do is drop down the front end of it. We'll kind of give it a good push a few times, to really settle it in, make sure the shock chair is compressed where they need to be, and we can get a remeasurement. See what kind of improvement we have. We're back on the ground. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the front bumper. We're gonna kind of jump on it a little bit. We're gonna go here to the back, do the same thing, get it all settled in, and we can do a remeasuring. So now you get to watch me jump up and down on my bus like an idiot. Well, that was easy. I uh, will say the back seems definitely more stiff than the front, but granted the back doesn't have any of the weight on it or anything either. So let's measure it, see what kind of improvement, if any, that we have. All right, so we're gonna go with the front first. I think it was 29 and a half. Granted, I don't know what stock ride height is. I'll have to Google that. And we are a little lower about 29 and a quarter. And in the back, I think we were at what, 24? So we're a little bit higher, 24 and a half. So, 
So I don't know, I think that's a little bit of an improvement in the back, especially once we add the weight of the engine, um, the transmission, all the accessories and things that start going in the bus that'll start to really sink down. So I'm gonna have to Google what the stock ride height is. If you know that, which I'm sure one of you does, if you know the stock ride height, put it down in the comments down there for me, um, if I don't Google it by then, and what the front and back are supposed to be. I think this is right. At the weight of the people, things like that. I'm sure you're supposed to tighten the suspension to a certain point on the ball joints and things. I don't know. I don't know all the information that I'm getting there, okay? But we can already see that and feel that it's already a huge improvement. And I'm really glad we did this. Only cost us like, I think 50 bucks. Again, Rock Auto Special. I'm not gonna spend huge money on these right now. And because we can always upgrade later. And that's, as you can see, a very easy replacement. But I'm glad we had the hardware, but I'm not glad that we wasted all of our time looking at three different stores to find it. But hey, live and learn, look through your inventory first. On the overall look, man, it's basically the same, but at least we've got shocks on all four corners now. You know, that's what's important. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be the end of this episode. Uh, just putting the four new shocks wasn't as shocking. I know, that's really bad, I'm sorry, I can't resist. But it wasn't as hard as we thought it was. Uh, just literally eight bolts. One on the top, one on the bottom, on each corner, knock it out, comes out really easily. Um, those shocks were definitely old, definitely were an old replacement as they're American made, not the original German ones that should have been in there. But I'm glad they're out of it. Um, gives me a little bit more peace of mind and we'll have a little bit smoother ride when the day finally comes that we can drive this thing. We are still working on our Subaru engine. There's a lot of learning with that. I've never had to work on an engine like that. So we're still working on the engine conversion for the Subaru putting into this thing. So EC wiring harness are on the way. Good news, on the way, we'll be able to start messing with that. So little stuff like this is what we're keeping us busy in the meantime, little small upgrades, that steering upgrade we did, the shifter upgrade we did, new shocks. Um, you know, we're getting there. Little by little, we're getting there. And it's gonna be awesome when the day finally comes that we can put the engine in it and get it running and fired up. So it's very exciting. We're making great progress on this. Um, little by little here, starting from the bottom up as best we can. So we're getting there. It's exciting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Subscribing really helps me out. Hit that notification bell. That way you guys always get the notifications when new episodes drop. So you guys are always up to date of what's going on with Elsa the bus and our Subaru conversion. Remember, we do still have some merch available. We've got the drink sleeves that are only five bucks and the shirts are 15. Those go to help support the channel to buy parts for this baby right behind me and keep us going and pumping out the content for you guys, which costs you nothing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see you.